Hello folks, hello, we're here in Destiny 2, hopefully for a while, but you know, maybe not, because the servers are being a bit twitchy. How are you? How is everyone? Can you hear my in-game audio? Because when I flick out, it's uh, it doesn't seem to be registering, but that could be because I've all tabbed out, so, you know. Are you getting the nice Destiny oh, music? Let me know. Um, so I'm here with Steve. Hello, Steve. Hello. We are we are here to celebrate the new season, which brings with it so far. Um, oh, good. You can hear the in-game music. That's good. Uh, so far, brings with it apparently a public event that's just Gambit, without the PvP. Um, you were totally up for me signing some more. Oh, sing singing, right? Yeah. <laughs> Um, uh, and the news that the new expansion uh, coming quarter four only costs £35 and removes half your game so pretty pumped for that uh, <laughs> so far uh, the player base seems to be ecstatic about this um, because as well as removing half the game they are spit shining and adding in content we already had in Destiny 1 so, I mean, I don't know about you, but that prospect thrills me. <laughs> but pe people do seem to be genuinely excited for this. 
I'm, I'm sure I'm... I'll bring it up again during the stream, but I, <laughs> I I cannot wrap my head around why people think this is this is not even good, but acceptable. Um, one thing that's quite interesting, I'm sure they'll have a class action lawsuit, since in Europe that is literally illegal. So you know, we'll um, we'll see. <laughs> It won't uh, but they've, they've not deleted it. It's in a vault. That, it's that's in a vault. I forgot mm, it's in their vault. They vaulted it. Yes. Yeah. The vault. Th this is the. Oh, I hate that. When they, As soon as they started saying that, I was like, oh, is it going to be a thing where you have like optional downloads? I thought that. I was wondering that. Because yeah. I thought that that's an easy thing to do, surely. Like, but a lot of what they're talking about is like, oh, you know, the game might break because of our update cycles, can't handle the size and stuff. I'll, I'll get into that. But like, for me, the the, the the term that term, their destiny content vault or whatever it is, um, that to me implied like something in game where you could choose perhaps to install, you know, the the year one content and all this thing and and, and play through, you know, say ah, well I've got the hard drive size I'm fine with it I'll I'll do yeah. it. Um, but no, it just means we haven't thrown away the code. That's what that means. It's <laughs> horrible branding doublespeak. And I can't believe they're touting it as a feature rather than if you paid for Year One Destiny, Destiny 2, um, and the first two expansions and all the rest of it, we're now taking away, I mean, a huge amount. I, I hesitate to say over half, but maybe. Um... Yeah, because what you'll have left is Earth and Nessus. Yeah, and they're taking away Titan, Mars, Io, and Mercury. Um, and the Leviathan, um, which is a Nessus thing, so that there's that as well. Um, I, I'm, I'm honestly taken aback by this, but more so, not really, because, you know, companies are going to be companies, but... I'm taken aback by the positive reaction to it. I can't, I can't even begin to wrap my head around it. I'll be honest. Um, yeah, and I've seen like you know game game journal like the rock paper shotgun reaction was super positive. I, th that that seems to be where we are. We've been so browbeaten by the games as a service bollocks that we're just like, oh yeah, cool, just take away half my game that I've paid for. So why why were they? Why were they positive? What, what's what's the? Well, they were they were saying like, oh, well, no one plays that anymore, and like, and this allows them this. The, the one of the weird positive things is like, the, the, the weird positivity around it seems to be, oh well, they say this allows them to really revamp the game, and it's like, <laughs> this is weird thing where they released it and they were like, oh well, you know, we looked at making Destiny three, but it seemed like a really difficult thing and a really big outlay, so we thought. Well, how how can we achieve you know polishing Destiny two, uh, given the the massive legacy issues we've left for ourselves? So, and sometimes I I can empathise with that. They were under Activision and they had, you know, they they weren't foreseeing going it alone, um, and all this stuff. And I can I can empathise with some of that, but some of it is just like, well, you've clearly got issues with fire with uh, code efficiency. If like. Because they were saying, oh, you know, it's just too big a game to update and to store. And I'm like, this isn't even in the top five biggest MMOs on my machine. Like, in yeah. terms of scope. And, like, sure, it's a nice graphical game, but there's a lot of other nice graphical games that don't take up this much space on my machine. And systemically, it's not like their, their code base has to do an insane amount of, of work. Like, it has to do a kind of st pretty standard amount of shooter work. So, you know, and I understand that they can't um, go back and revamp their entire code base to, to make it more efficient. You know, that would be pr prohibitively expensive, I understand that. But when, so their options are, make a new game, oh, that sounds like a lot. Or, take away half the content people have paid for. Then your then your answer is we have to make a new game, isn't it? Isn't it? Am I mad? 
rather than take away stuff that people have paid for. I mean, I know it's free to play now, but still, are, are that people are celebrating this and going, "Oh well, yeah, well they had to make that choice." It's like, no, they didn't have to make that choice. They, they, no, that was the choice they wanted. They wanted to make the, the the choice they came to the you know that they came to. But it's like, well, it's the choice that fucks the player, isn't it? I'm not. Am I mad? I don't think I'm mad. It's it's very it's for 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 somebody coming in and so you just can't experience yeah destiny they, 2 no De it's destiny like, 2 as a base game will no longer exist i mean they kind of did that i guess when when it when it moved to steam the, well, well not no, precisely they, they, they moved things around right. yeah they shuffled uh, sure they shuffled yeah. things around but all literally all it was is you just picked it up from a different place like the actual, it, I, I wasn't a big fan of that either, and it was you know hidden away and a weird decision. Um, but it, I feel like they've looked at it and gone, okay, our most hardcore player base is effectively treating this like a um, you know a, a, an arena based action MMO. Yeah. So let's let's just be that now and remove every vestige of what this game originally was. Um, apart yeah, it, from those elements, and it's just bizarre to me now that and and the thing is, it's not like they're removing story from the game. In fact, everything seems oriented towards it. All the tra the trailers are just about the story. They don't yeah. do anything about gameplay or environment. Barely anything about environments, and nothing really about the new things they've talked about, like the new damage type and uh, the new classes and stuff like that. Nothing like that. It's all now specifically aimed at the story. But if you buy the expansion, say you come to Destiny 2 based on the strength of, of that, you know, you go, oh, that trailer looks cool, maybe I'll give this Destiny 2 game a try, and you go into it, or if you're coming back to the game or anything like that, you literally have to pick it up, pick up that story from that point. And you won't be able to play any of the story campaigns. And, like, call me, call me old fa an old-fashioned single-player gamer... Um, like, the reason I bought Destiny 2, like, I was like, oh, yeah, I'll play the Strikes, and I'll, I'll you know, I'll have fun roaming around the open world and doing a bit of loot, loot grinding and stuff like that. But the reason I buy a game is usually for the single-player campaign. And, or the, or the campaign that I can play co-op with friends. And, um, it's, it's just being removed. Sorry, vaulted. <laughs> And well, if yeah, you, if you I, keep paying them long enough, then then maybe they'll bring bring some old areas back. Yeah, but, but I, I, oh, what what a treat to be given the things <laughs> I paid for again. Like, uh, yeah, but even if they do, they won't bring it back altogether because obviously that would have too big a hard drive footprint, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so you'll never be able to play the campaign again, surely, because the campaign takes place across all the destinations. Yeah, it seems unlikely. So they're getting rid of Mars, Io, Titan, Mercury, and Leviathan. Yeah. And they're bringing in Europa and Cosmodrome. Yeah. So, yeah. There's well, a bit so of a that's here. giving them room to expand again, isn't it? But, like... Uh, yeah. Just mad, I think. Madness. It's a it's a it's a bold play, I think. But, I would. Yeah, but but madness. Apparently, most people are really happy about. Like, yeah, and one of the things for me as well is like I remember when um, when Shadowkeep came out and brought in the moon, and I was like, oh, cool, we're gonna go be able to go to the moon again. I didn't realize that I meant literally again. Like, don't get me wrong, the moon area they've got in Destiny Two. Has has a bunch of other stuff added to it, um, like I don't think Sorrows Harbor and the uh, like. It's certain areas have been amended, often quite significantly. There's a lot of new activities on there, but it is still the same area of the moon that you played through in Destiny One. Like it's recognizably the same place. You know, you can kind of go, oh, there's that building over there I used to go into. Like you know, it's the same place, and I remember feeling. A little bit cheated by that. Like, you know, kind of, oh, I guess you've just reused all the assets and bolted some new buildings to it and added some new areas. But fundamentally, 
you're kind of reselling me the same area I'd already got in Destiny 1. Okay, sure. But there was enough different, and I was like, yeah, all right. But th- this idea of taking stuff away and then going, oh, but two new areas are being added. By the way, one of them's from Destiny 1. And so many people are like, oh, yeah, can't wait to replay that. And I'm like, just fucking put your <laughs> Destiny 1 disc back in your PlayStation or your Xbox or whatever. Like, what? Why are we so... Ugh. But it's just part of this nostalgia for whatever the previous installation of the game was. And so many people prefer Destiny 1 to Destiny 2. I wonder how many of those people have played Destiny 1 recently. And like, are factoring in all the quality of life changes they made in Destiny 2? I, I don't know. I, I think a lot of it is just that kind of like, you know, music and games and films and whatever were all better when I was a teenager. No, you were a teenager. <laughs> you, that's what you miss. You miss being a teenager. <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not. And then, yeah, this, this notion that you know, content is being removed for this, and going on a rotation. Well, yeah, whatever. Like, I, I, you know, the fact that they've gone. Oh, we don't know when or how or if any of this will come back. Hmm. So what they, I suspect what will happen from that is like, they'll be like, good news, you know, IO is coming back to the game in this autumn's expansion. Well, yeah. We've, we've changed it a little bit and now it's an expansion. Right. (laughs) Yeah. So what they'll basically have done is taken it away, changed it a bit and then charge you for it again. I, I I very much strongly expect that's what's going to happen. I I wouldn't be surprised. And people will go, oh yay, Io again! Ooh, that thing they took away from us that we'd paid for already. So I hope everyone's excited to watch us play some <laughs> Destiny Two tonight. Are you? Are well, you excited? Probably... Yeah. No one's watching this because everyone's watching all the. All the famous people, <laughs> fa- famous people, play uh, play Destiny Two. But um... well, perhaps they're all playing uh, the Elite Dangerous uh, Fleet Carriers uh, expansion that came out oh, today as well. Play. So oh, yeah, um, let's let's pop pop something on the old uh, on the old social media. And then we'll get going. Oh boy. Yeah, there's my rant. There we go. I'm sure it'll crop up again through the through the <laughs> evening. Um but uh I I particularly like the way they've uh, added a, a pre-order link to the destination screen. Uh, they, I mean they always do that, but yeah. Yeah. I... <laughs> it rankles a little bit. Right. Okay. We've both played the uh, the intro intro thing to this. Hey, Justin. Uh, we've both played the intro thing to this season, right? The the first mission. Yes, I'm. Uh, I got back to the tower and yeah, spoke to yeah. the drifter. Cool. So have you got have you got the the quest that's like go go do a round of this new public thing. In the face um, of darkness. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Complete the contact public event on Io the one. Titan. Oh, Io and Titan, I like them. I'm glad they're in the room. <laughs> um, ooh, there's actually a quest called The Whisper. Is that the one we've just done? Uh, thought it was. Can you redo it or something? I don't know. Who knows? Let's go to this contact place. Let's see what's going on there. Uh, apparently this, this public event is just um, Gambit with the PvP stripped out. So, uh, 
Okay. Like, uh, that's what people are saying. So, right. You know, maybe, maybe not. We'll see. But apparently it's k kill a bunch of little things. Maybe maybe you get moats and you have to bank them as well, and then, then there's a boss and you kill it. Okay. Sure. I mean, Gambit, for me, kind of was the PV PvP. Mm. Um... You know that that's the the, the thing that added the, the spice. Sure. Um, but... Yeah, I know what you mean. Um, we'll see. We'll see. I'm quite liking the new season. Um, the the new season weapon so far. I'm liking that. It's nice. I've not actually used it yet. It's good. It's just like a. Yeah, it's a, like a, a, a you know a grenade launcher for your main slot. Um, oh no, that is there. We are in the wrong place. Well, at least according to the map. I assume because these guys were lurking here was the right place. But... No, it's over here. There's the pyramid. Oh uh, yes. Um, yeah, it's good. It leaves like a kind of damaging AOE zone on the floor. Yeah. Yeah, that's Gambit. You don't have to feel the darkness tugging at your core. It's a slightly different color, though, so, you know. Oh, well, yeah, new content. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, yeah, the moats are orange. <laughs> now that's innovation. <laughs> Warning, stream might be a little salty this evening. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not happy. I'm not happy. For anyone joining us now. Thank you, Charge. Do you have to actually deposit them? Can you see how many you're carrying? I don't seem to be able to tell how many I'm carrying. No, I was... Oop, contacting Destiny servers. I... can't... No. Kind of oh, it's an thing. unstoppable. Oh, which means that we need mods and. Oh well, I don't have my unstoppable mods yet because I've only got one rank. I thought right. The first thing I saw on that season last fact was the first entry. Right, said um, like the barrier thing just said weapon mod, and I was like, oh thank fuck, that's something at least. They've um, changed it so you can just put the mods on any weapon. No, it's called that, but it's definitely only still functional on auto rifles in the air. Yeah, I haven't got my um, unstoppable mod yet. No, so. me neither. Cool. I love it when you have to level up first before you can do the. Uh... Surely we can hammer him down. Oh! Uh, right. <laughs> Why are game companies so fucking bad at anticipating their server requirements on launch days? Like, really fucking bad. You'd think that one launch day would work, you know? Well, that's the thing. How... What do they do for beta testing? Do they? This is a thing I don't. I don't know whether Destiny Two has any form of beta servers or pre-launch. I, don't I think that... it does. If it does, I've never heard of them. Um, is it like? Um, can you just set it going? Yes, you can just set it going like me. Um, okay, that's something. Staunch the flow of darkness, guardian. Although now there's only two of us in the shard. Paint's dry. <laughs> By the look of it, so that's fun. Oh, it's on a timer as well. Love that. Always love that. Love public events gated by something you can't control, like population on a particular shard. Love them. 
Okay, now I can see my notes. Oh, I get a... F okay. Could I see them Plus before 10. and I was just being dumb? I don't know. Is there any I got a warning when I was saving up more? It's not like I can spawn things onto an enemy. Things that the enemy no longer doesn't exist. Who knows? Who knows? I'm assuming it doesn't matter. I think, I guess, beyond the timer and you losing your mounts when you die. But there's there's no... I, I can't see that there's a reward for... Because, you know, in actual Gambit, there's... Okay, my moats are full, and I definitely yeah. didn't have 15. Yeah, I think you only get 10. Okay. I think there's space for 10. That's what I'm guessing. Barrier guy... Uh, so, bank charge. So, it looks like there's multiple tiers of it. It's like Escalation Protocol or... Okay, I don't actually... I should have put in my barrier thing. Because there are barrier things here, but I don't... Yes, I'm somewhat... underprepared. Oh, bank under attack! Under attack? Oh, is it under attack? Ah, uh, you have to get rid of the champions. Right, okay. Right. All the taken, maybe? Yeah, the, t the taken are what, um... The taken are what... Taken blockers. Yeah. I'm down. Ah, god damn it, hit it! Ah! There's an acolyte's eye just floating there that needs dealing with. I think that's it. Oh no, is that. Oh no, the overload's taken hold. Okay, champions. Okay. It's literally worthless trying to play this mode without having leveled up yeah. the artifact. Cool. Great! Uh, did get a quest step though. Mini banks brimming. Lay low for a bit, kid. you starting to draw some. Of course, there are umbral engrams this time. What are the umbral engrams? Aren't you tired of cowering under um, the floor? Contacting Destiny 2 service. Relying on hope and prayers. No bother. Right insulation. But so what was? What did it say? Why in the, are you um... not there now? Ah yes, in the in the uh, expansion notes, uh, you can focus umbral engrams with a prismatic recaster to choose your rewards. Oh, cool! Mm. Oh, I know exactly what that means. <laughs> uh, bring the mysterious umbral engram to the drifter. Okay, sure. Let's go talk to the drifter. Destiny 2 may be the game overall I've played most while complaining most about it. <laughs> but I did, like I will say that today's today's announcements are another step entirely for me for it. Um, it is a bit of a kick in the teeth. Yeah. Personally, but maybe you're different. Maybe you like having things taken away that you've been that you pay for. You, you know, to each their own. <laughs> no, I'm salty. I'm salty. Seasonal stuff. Seasonal triumphs. Ooh, yeah. Give me that alt those altered elements. I don't know what they mean now, but I'm sure I'll complain that I don't have enough of them later. How's everyone? Enjoying our salt? <laughs> well, that took you a while. You getting old? <laughs> oh. 
I saw you snag that Ingram. You think no one was looking? You ready to get dark? Chuck it on the pie, and let's see what old Drifter can cook up for you. Been kit bashing gear since that jerk ghost pulled me out of my grave. Got a knack for it, I guess. I'll work you up something nice. Okay. Emerald decryption. So what's this shit? Access the Emerald decoder decryption. Okay, okay, so that glow. You're always there, welcome on the derelict. Yes, no? No, I guess not. I'm, oh, it's here. Okay. Isn't this thing cool? It's like Rahul, but better. Question is, see that from what I knew just gave me a regular thing. What's the difference here? Anti extinction plate. Okay, it looks identical to my other gear. Go back to Drifter. Hey, look alive, hot shot. This is bouncing me back and forth. Okay. I really don't understand what that meant. What goes on here between you and me, all right? Oh, you brought me some darkness. This bank is hungry. Right. Is, this, is all this going to do just going to give me a whole bunch of mods that I never use because they're marginal? So, I think... Because they're marginal and I'm wearing different gear every half hour. I think, from what I heard last hey, season about this, alive, it was a way of allowing you to target um, the engrams so that you didn't just have to burn through Be billions to get there, one brother. that you liked in terms of weapons. That you right. could kind of somehow influence them, but beyond that, I don't know. But again, isn't that just pandering to uh, a hardcore minority who have the time to do that shit anyway? What Probably. I do with my engrams is decode them and then either wear them or not, depending on whether they're a higher light level than me. Because I, I don't have the time to hammer it and become get to the, the light cap within two weeks of the season starting and then <laughs> spend the rest of my time grinding. Yeah? No? That's that's my thought on it. I I don't need to target specific things because I just I'm always upgrading anyway because I'm and this is the right and this is the crazy thing, right? I feel like all this is being like all this stuff is being targeted towards a very probably a very relatively small subsection of the player base who are like the hardcore people who hammer the end game and stuff like that. Which makes it feel like the thing is a lot of people go, oh well, you bet, you know, casual, blah 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 blah. blah, blah, blah. I play this game so fucking much, like to me, like I I I think I spend way too much time on this game, and the notion that <laughs> the stuff being released, I'm too casual for. <laughs> to me, that's insane. Is it not falling down the same old familiar MMO trap of catering towards the very small section of its audience that treats the game as a hobby unto itself rather than one of a number of games they play? It does, yeah. I think I think it's in danger it, of doing that. If it works as you say, in that like, oh, it means you can target specific drops and you know, get the stuff you really want and get the, the things on it that you really want. I will not I, I, I tell you now, I won't use it. Not not out of spite, not out of some kind of like, you know, principle. I, I simply won't need to. Yeah. I'm probably not gonna hit the light cap, the soft light cap, let alone the hard one, until nearly the end of the season. 
So what, what, you know. And I don't particularly struggle with the activities I play in the game. So what, what do I need specific drops for? I don't know. And for a lot of people, you know, that'll be great. But it's, again, catering towards a, what is probably a very small number of players. Relative to your player base size. Is it not? I don't know. I've seen this happen in MMOs before. You know, like a company releases generalized expansions for years that have like a little bit of content for everyone and, you know, that, 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 that skews a bit towards kind of the easiest stuff to design. Oh, here's new areas, here's a new quest line and here's stuff like that. And all the while, the, the hardcore player base is just like raids. All we want is raids. Give us raids. Give us a thousand raids. Um... And then they eventually go, okay, you, you, okay, well, it's so loud. People are really clamoring for it. And they release something that's really raid heavy and no one buys it. <laughs> and, the, you know, the game goes under. <laughs> or <laughs> has to be, the, you know, the dev company has to be massively scaled back. Because they did the expansion just didn't make any fucking money. Because most of their players went, well, I don't play raids. Yeah. I've seen it so many times. So many times. Um, I don't know. It's feel, and if they haven't it's got feeling a, like that to me, it's feeling like that to me. But I could be. And wrong. if they haven't got a, a, if they haven't got a story to sort of, you know, if they haven't got a single player campaign in the same way, if that if that's disappeared into a whole bunch of of just to a sequence of of tasks of, um, you know, strikes and public events and things like that. If that if that is quotes the story. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's weird. Yeah, I don't like. I'm sure lots of people don't give a shit about the story or like or, or whatever, and they just want to play the game. But for me, it's like an it, it's a, almost an alien concept because uh, you know, as you've alluded to a couple of times, it's like why should you care? Mm. If you don't know what I mean, any it... of this means in the context of oh, there is actually some um, some almighty damage over here. Okay. Um, yeah. Then what what does it what does it matter? You know, oh, we must defeat Savathun. Who's Savathun? <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> that is exactly, uh, from my experience, as I say, of, of joining in at it, as it switched to Steam. Yeah. Um, so I've, I've, I don't know who Savathun is. Um, yeah, so, but, oh, I mean, it's another strike. I'll shoot things. Um, yeah, but to be fair, that's because you were playing that strike before you'd finished the stuff. Like, I understand. Well, yeah, but again, because it's a multiplayer game, and um, it feels as if I don't know. I, I guess the, the the trap that I fall into with playing campaigns in a multiplayer mode is that uh, you'll find that you know you'll be playing in a, in a group of people, and you'll start as a group of people, then you'll want to continue as that group of people to keep the, the atmosphere going, and then somebody sure. drops out, yeah. and then you don't complete it, and that's kind of the place I'm in now. I just I guess I just need to go off and. Yeah, Catch like, I, then... I get what you mean, and I don't think they made it easy, but also, like, no. there is some kind of responsibility to... If you want to understand what's going on, you need to play the campaign first. The the, the issue is that from Core 4, you can't. Mm. You, you can't. <laughs> I mean, what are they going to do? Are they going to just replace it with a slideshow? Is it going to be... I, I, I think you're giving them a lot of credit. <laughs> like, I don't think they will. Because people, like... They're trying to attract people who won't care. Hmm. Who are just like, oh, cool, I got a new game, shoot things. The, the numbers are going yeah, up. No, I, it sounds like I'm doing those people down. I'm not. I, you know, every, everyone likes what they like in gaming, and, and that's cool. It just feels like this used to be a game where people cared about the campaign and would buy the game for the campaign. Uh, and now there literally isn't one. And it would be one thing if they brought out Destiny Three and it was like that. I go, okay, they, they, you know, they pivoted the the franchise. Fine, you know, I, I might still enjoy it in some ways. You know, whatever. It's the fact that that was the game, and I paid for that game, and now it's g gonna go. And you know, most MMOs have a lifespan, but. It's rarely one enforced by the devs as an expansion. <laughs> so, yeah, whatever, man. Okay. 
I don't know. Right, uh, complete a playlist strike, crucible match or gambit match in order to be able to use the system I won't probably won't be able probably won't care about. Uh <laughs> I probably won't. Um, I just can't. I can't. I can't see myself caring. Um, I would like to second that by saying there's a really weird smell in my house, like plastic burning, which isn't particularly. Um, that that's not that a good well. smell to have. In fact, I may um, may enjoy my. Uh, my cohabitee to um, come downstairs because he is watching <laughs> and see if he can also smell vaguely burning plastic and if so, maybe look for some burning plastic Need something new? Eververse has it. it's odd anyway, um, right playlist strike sure, I, I mean guess. I can I'll grab some uh Vanguard bounties, I guess. Yeah. Um, so what? Yeah, I don't have any extra unlocks left. Right. Let's get. Let's at the very least get my submachine guns loaded and things loaded with barrier rounds. Again. <laughs> could just leave them on there. That's all I'm saying. That's a, you know, you could just leave them on there. <laughs> Oh, no salt is real, folks. Today. He must have found something interesting. Salt is real. Good, you're back. Zavala, what do you think of all this, you big blue bastard? Requisition approved. Uh, swords, uh, rocket launchers. Requisition approved. What do you reckon, John? Burning plastic? Slightly. I think it's coming from outside, though, because it smells out my bedroom window. Oh, okay. Oh, that's fine, as long as someone's just burning plastic in the backyard or something. <laughs> yeah. Also, there was, like, a weird mechanical sound. There. Oh, okay. That, oh, if it's a weird mechanical sound nearby and the smell of burning plastic. Nothing wrong. Yeah, it's all fine. <laughs> It was a maintaining Good. social distancing. Yeah. Oh wow, there's a trace rifle calibration bounty. I haven't seen those before. There you go. Um, do I even have bows? And I don't think I've got bows equipped on my guy. You know what? I quite fancy using a trace rifle though. I do Deal. like them, so I'll go. Uh, I'll go grab one. Why not? Why not, eh? Hmm, that's really a quite unpleasant <coughs> odor. Good, good. Um, okay, machine guns. Sure. Pop that in. Let's grab a trace rifle, shall we? Assuming I haven't got my trace rifles. Uh, while, while I'm in a complaining mood, God, my life for a better filterable vault. Yeah. Lens, that'll do. That'll do. Yeah. What um? What other bounties to pick up? Are they all for heavy yeah, stuff? Sure blah blah blah. Sure, worth scrapping. This a dead orbit job. I don't need that right now. Stay here on Earth if you can. Less complicated. Sure, that'll do. Okay. Yeah, I had someone on my Twitter. Um, who I have. To have no, no grudge against whatsoever. Arguing that, like, it was partly because they'd, um, you know, a lot of areas kind of feel 
a bit obsolete or like you're kind of leveled past them or whatever. And everyone's just, just like, well, whose fault is that? Mm. That's not like, like that's avoidable, isn't it? You ready, you ready to go? Uh, yes. Yeah, they don't really. Like, I, isn't I that think they could make by bringing up light levels of areas. Yeah, I, th I think they could do more with existing. Like just areas. a balance of stuff. Yeah, like it seems bizarre to me, but because <laughs> like the the light, as far as I'm aware, the light level of most areas now is about 200 below the light level you have when you create a new character. Mm. It's like so that isn't an excuse really, is it? Cuz you could just rebalance those areas. Yeah, I th I think they they're trying to find problems to uh, sorry, solutions to problems they've made themselves and and it's like well you could yeah. there are there are other ways of doing this. Yeah. Uh. That is very much how it how it feels to me as well. That they've kind of backed themselves into a corner, and it's a corner that they could get out of, but getting out of it would be harder than just trashing a load of it and trying to start again, essentially. Which, you know, in principle, sometimes that's a that's a perfectly fine thing to happen. But not so much when trashing it means that you're removing content that people have paid for. And I know I keep going back to that, but it's it's a principle I'm quite fucking keen on actually. <laughs> Vanguard has detected a spike in high energy coming from deep below the surface of Mars. Lapras, a dangerous hive heretic, is leading some kind of operation to corrupt the planet. Sparrow into war. walls for no reason. Take him out, Guardian. We can't risk losing Mars to the hive. Do love. This person's keen on their new grenade launcher. I don't blame them, I like it. I like it. I like it more than Fighting Lion, I think, which is the other, the other um, kinetic slot grenade launcher. I, don't, I think there may also be an energy one as well that I don't have. So. Seeing these readings, they're coming from those crystals. It's some kind of solidified but the reason you need to get I, I kind of fast. have historically found it quite easy to forgive Bungie for some of their bullshittery around uh, around this game is because, let's be brutally honest here, the moment to moment gameplay is superb. Hmm, yeah. Assume we have to throw things at things, yes. Always. Always throw things at the things. The hive's corruption is changing the physical properties of the surrounding rock. Rapid organic growth is occurring. It's a spawning ground. It's a spawning ground, Steve. <laughs> He's a necromancer, something extremely rare for the hive. He can actually reanimate dead hive. You're going to have to take them all out permanently. Calibration.
speaking of things that might need slight rebalancing. <laughs> um, difficulty of general strikes. Not general strikes as in the <laughs> righteous action of the people. Although, do, do back general strikes, folks. Um, but, you know. else did I have? Calibration and weapon quests for I can't remember. Okay, quick look. Things I'm pretty sure we've got this. Strike as is. Rocket launchers. Swords. Okay. Well then, I can carry on using my trace rifle, which is not much better, but I guess I could be using my new grenade launcher to. It's like a. I presume it's like the masterwork quest for that or something. Charge, please. Yeah. Oh, okay. Just switching for a second. You go on ahead. I could really do to figure out what it is I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, quests and stuff. I have. Uh... There's a there's a thing for blowing up stuff with the with the new grenade launcher. Oh, okay. Kinetic. Uh, with with a something. With a hold. Sounds about right. It's pretty good, like I say. It doesn't have. I don't think it seems to have the. Ready um, for this guardian. We can stop not the like sleep. sort of weird contact effect stuff, or, or non-contact effect stuff, rather of um, uh, fighting lion, and it leaves a damaging zone on the ground, which is something I like that kind of thing. I have some ammo for it. on the wrong way around. 
to keep hearing like uh, baddies near me and looking the wrong way. <laughs> That's uh I still have no heavy ammo. Oh well. Fairly determined not to get us up. There we go. Grand. Well done, Gunny. Oh, you were up good. Mars will live to see another day. <laughs> yeah, I just made it. Ooh, Trinity Ghoul Catalyst. Ooh, it's whatever that is. Been there in the game before. It's a catalyst to the Trinity Ghoul. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I've seen the, um... Do you get catalysts for weapons you don't have? Uh, yeah, I what? think so. Okay. Trinity Ghoul, uh, you get through a quest, through an exotic quest. Right. It's the big, like, heavy bow. If you've ever seen anyone one-shotting things with a massive, evil-looking bow. I mean, that's sounding, that's sounding appealing. I can get it. Sure. So, what's the next step then in this? Return to the Drifter. <laughs> okay. We. Uh, Evan, has my artifact leveled up? That's the main question. Can that I? That is a good question. That is a good question. Right. I have one more no. slot. Do I want to overload or unstoppable? I'm going to take an unstoppable pulse rifle mod so I can stop always having to use hand cannons. <laughs> Even though I don't particularly like pulse rifles. And my favourite pulse rifle in the game is an exotic, which I can't use the... <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't play this game. <laughs> wow. Wow, indeed. What's up, hero? Uh. Okay. Twisted energy, eh? 
right? I'm still not kind of clear how we got that twist. Did we just get the twisted energy from things dying in our presence? Or... Yeah. Okay. Of course, that's never happened before, so. Um, what are we yeah. meant to do? Sorry, I'm, I've gone and looked. We this. now you've got twisted Re twist energy. Ener rank up the recaster, okay? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, and that's this thing, okay? Yeah. Okay, I, I, I do not have enough to do that. Oh, maybe I do. No. Yes. No. Yes. Deposit twisted energy. Deposit a moderate amount of twisted energy. Okay. Select Gifts of Light and Dark to choose upgrades for the Prismatic Recaster. What, what's Gifts of... What, yeah. <laughs> Unclaimed Gifts available? Rank 1. Umbral Enhancement 1. Okay. This is... I end up having to just abstract this and think back to what it means in terms of it's just like last season. It's it's putting it's putting coins in a slot, isn't yeah, it? It's just yeah. it's. I shouldn't be surprised. I'm not surprised. Umbral em, umbral engram, available for focusing. Basic umbral focusing. Weapons favored by the drifter. Weapons from the past three years of se year three, three seasons of year three. Piece of holdfast armor. A weapon from the darkness. Okay. So what do I need? I need altered elements to do the improved arsenal focusing. I presume they also need to upgrade the thing, whatever I'm doing. And then improved armor focusing, the same. Trace overrides. Okay. Um, well, let's check what I'm meant to be doing here. Find a number of engram and access it. Focus it, blah, blah. Okay, so I am meant to be doing that, right. Oh my god. Um, right, let's get a weapon from the darkness. Oh, preview. Okay, okay, so it shows me the different weapons I can get. These look like the new ones. They're, I haven't read their funky cool names before. Hold fast, that's the seasonal armor. Legacy seasons. Yes, the Seven Seraph stuff, and then some stuff from Season of... Um, oh yeah, it's just stuff from last three seasons, all of which I think I have. So I don't particularly care right now. Um, Dredgen focused. Weapons favoured by the Drifter. Okay. At least one of which I have, but the others maybe not so much. I don't know. Right, let's get a, a Pyramid focused one. Let's do that. Sure. Sure. Um, in fact, let's get a couple of them, because we've got two. So, And then presumably we open it by going to the other thing. Yeah, decrypt the thing. With the thing. Do the thing. Okay. Scanning biometric. Ah, <laughs> I'm kidding. You know you're authorized. So we've got something called Temptation's Hook. And Hollow Words. All right. All right. Got to the postmaster. All right. <laughs> Return to the drifter. I'd be doing this a lot, a lot more kind of like you know. Hey, yeah, sure. Hey, it's new good. season stuff. I don't know what's going on yet. That's fine. A lot more kind of genially. If it wasn't mm. for the fact that at the back of my head, I've got they're going to take half your game <laughs> away. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you've got to recharge the recast, recharge the seed with darkness each week. So do you have to recharge the thing every week and level it up every week? I don't fucking know. Okay, charging the seed. Back alive, brother. Claim the weekly means to an end quest from the prismatic recaster. How about some gambit? <laughs> okay, we get the um 
sure. Defeat Cabal with damage or finishes in our own system. Okay, well, at the very least, Steve, these bounties mm. look like you can do them anywhere. Yes, yes. I appreciate That's, that. That is something. And they're also not that expensive. Huh, they last a bit longer than normal. One day, three hours. Interesting. Uh, right. Okay, sure. So you have to play contact. To... Been to the reef lately? Heard it's gone to hell. So like, earn more this stuff to level up. Take whatever you can <clears throat> okay. I haven't been back here in with a horde no back for centuries. Okay, whispering slabs of combat power. Your vanguard cool. and synergizes quite well with the fact that there's now overload mods for bows. So sure, sure, sure. I'm fine with this. Yeah, let's level up our Prometheus lights. I do like it. You got somewhere to be? How about Gambit? Um. Okay, one thousand and one. That sword. Come on, who's up for Gambit? What does it do? Bonus damage from three more enemies at close proximity. Guarding while receiving damage generates class ability energy. Uh, increased sword ammo. Increased sword damage ammo. Let's give a skill bounce one. Uh, oh, it's got a projectile attack. Excellent. I do like those. Guardians are always On the sword. The you know, historically. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so what have we got here? Uh, I gotta raid one of those text mechanics. Yeah, contain the spreading darkness by participating in contact public events. Uh, more I vault know. keys needed for the bank I job thing. Sure, sure, sure. And was there anything else to talk to anyone about? All right. You, oh, it's uh, you get pinnacle gear for completing the the weekly means to an end quest as well. Okay. That now that uh, that sounds good. That's that's a thing I recognise. Yeah. Okay. That's decent. I don't know how much like because at the moment means to an end is just can you know get a hundred percent of that darkness, but it probably has. Yeah. Some more more uh, levels to it. Um, right. I. Quit. Let's equip that mod on here. So I've got Unstoppable as well. So again, like the main thing that strikes me about this season is um, I have to use specific guns. In a game that's all about that there's a million different guns. Yeah, it's... Mm. Yeah. Not uh, what can you do? At this point, it's it's kind of pointless to complain about it, isn't it? Um, I'll keep that with the horde equipped until I need to find me some new get the new. No, you know what? I'll use it in different things. It's pretty handy in general. I'll um I'll switch to anti barrier. Okay, shall we go? Shall we go do more of that then? More of the public event. Now that we can, yeah, least, sure. I, I can deal with barrier and unstoppable. It's just overload. I can't deal with. Okay, uh, I can deal with barrier. I haven't got uh, level two on the um, okay. object yet, so. Well, that's no. fine. Let's go deal with that. Cool. Oh, 
Everyone alright in chat? Having a having a good old time. Just a just the best old time. Yeah, I know you are. You love listening to me complain. <laughs> it's more or less what the channel was founded on. Not bad. A little salty. Yeah. <laughs> Falling asleep in the cat. John with the typos tonight. Um, yeah, a little salty, but you knew it would be like that. Well, yeah. It's hate to see the game. Um, yeah. People are probably also aware because I had a big old Twitter rant about all this first, because what's better than screaming into the void? People definitely don't seem to have clocked that you can just trigger this yet. But I found that quite a few people, even near the end of the season, in the last one, didn't clock that you could just trigger that one either. The nightmares were simply an like the Seraph Towers. Yeah. People just sat around waiting for them. And you didn't have to. You could just, just do them. Press the button. Yeah, it's got a kind of escalation hey, protocol slash. Um, what, what are these guys? Yeah, if you see a champion. There he is. Um, ow. <laughs> Guardian down. There's Overload, a barrier hobgoblin here. Overload, the one I don't have. <laughs> Ow! At least you don't spawn too far away. Right? There! Where's the barrier one? Uh, with me now. Okay, gotcha. <sighs> oh my god! Yeah, definitely feeling reduced light level. One down. Harry Bloom. Do you know what that does? Okay, it's like a uh, warm himself. Because <laughs> apparently there's no new goddamn ideas <laughs> on the <this> thing. <laughs> uh, what's he doing? Hmm? Yeah, I don't know what the Bloom does. When you drop a champion, maybe. Drop like a circular thing that's just called a blue. A champion is stealing a blue. What does that mean? Does it is it like tower defense? Are they taking stuff away from the bank or is that Maybe. too much? They hit hard, don't they? They do. Oh, yeah.
containment unit. <laughs> Take some blockers again. Oh, jeez. Yeah. I just got hammered by something. Ooh, unstoppable. Stop all the overload in there, but I think it might be overload actually. Nope. There's an overload here. Uh no, it's unstoppable. I've got but I got mm -hmm. blown up by something. I did stagger the unstoppable, but it probably down. healed up by now because you know. Staggered him. Down. What else we got? Overload, can't do anything about that, apart from hitting with a big rocket. What are you supposed to do with this? Th well, the blue, how can you bring mm. it back? You just bring it back. Oh. Okay, well we're in the next phase now at least. Do they go away or do they stay? They stay. Okay. Yeah, I haven't got anything about against overload, so... I'm a bit useless with that. Hello, Hydra. Ooh, weird ragdolling from wanted person who just in pops on to say hi. Better than our first attempt. Yeah, at least there are players around as well. Yeah. I mean, you'd hope so on the first day. But... It was probably because of the server issues. Yeah. They uh, weren't really present. Oh, come on, Hydra. Stop eternally turning to. Miss me no matter where I am. Yeah, I don't know if it like if there's any point in trying to maximize your moats or anything, whether like they you know, it multiplies them or anything like that, or just just do it whenever you fucking not right. sure. I, I mean, the Minotaur has a something, I oh guess. Christ. It's got a thing over it. Oh, Ouch. God. Every single thing absolutely pans me. I think I'm seeing red swords on some of them. Maybe. Right. I need to clear the taken. 28 seconds left. Oh fuck me! What the hell was that? Right, I hope someone else has something for this overload guy, because all I can do is pound it with my I, super. I have rockets, and that's about it. Right, it's down. Oh god, that reset the clock did. So the bloom has a field, it seems. Okay, well, I'm sure we'll find out sooner or later, yeah. but for the moment. So this all one's I floating. Want to do is just kill stuff. Right. This chap's carrying it. And sticking it in the bank, it seems. Yeah, you put them in the bank. Yeah. Yeah. Ouch. Jesus. 
Jesus. Okay, now it's on recommended power 1,020. Presumably the different um, levels you go Tears, up. Tears, yeah. Uh, good. Well, I'm glad there's a reason why. <laughs> I'm getting hammered here. To be fair, it's the same thing last season as when we started doing the activity there and just kept getting absolutely wrecked. And it's the... Yeah, you need to level up a bit first. This feels better, though, because even if, like, unlike the Legendary Lost Sectors, like, even if you can't complete it, you can at least get, like, something. Yeah, yeah. Because it seemed to be, like, Seraph Towers and, that like, the kind of progress you make determines... Oh, these guys are tanky now, though. Hmm. Six seconds left. This, mm, this is not looking might right. Might do it. You never know. We need the equivalent of a wanted, a high-value target. Okay. I mean, no, but you never know. <laughs> yeah, everything's just so tough to me now. Da. Bank under attack. Yeah, I don't know what happens if they steal the ball. Presumably, you like your progress goes back or something. Guardian down. Eighty-one percent. Oh well, not too bad, I think. Like a bit more, a bit more light level, and we would have had it. Not bad. It did not take them long to arrive once the undying mind was slain. They were close, bearing witness. Perched along so, what happens? Darkness contained. Is that just the number of enemies we've killed? And we did nothing. Maybe? I suspect so. Um, yeah, that's gone up since my last. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Since okay. I last looked at it at the tower. So. There was a chest over here, but I think it's gone now. It's gone. Now then. Where was the other one on Titan? Did it say? Rings a bell. Want to go have a look at that one? Yeah, sure. And I've got uh, a, uh, my second unlock now for the artifact, so I can... So you've got... Sorry, which one have you got? Have you got Overload? Uh, or No, Overload is one I don't... Well, I'm actually about to get Overload. <laughs> okay, fine. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll grab Overload Arrowheads, which I'll probably regret, but... Um... In fact, I will, because, yeah. Now I can't equip both. Uh, but it's fine. <laughs> Try this new whispering slab. What's this like? Okay. I uh, guess I should find a. Should we go good check out the, the Titan one? Yeah, sure. Oh, and swap your earphones if you haven't done so. Oh, yes. Yeah. Good reminder. John's, uh, yeah. yeah John's That's John, courtesy. courtesy of John. That's probably better. Uh, okay, so where's... Was it Titan? Maybe it's not. I can't see it on Titan. Um, maybe it isn't. There is another one, though, right? I'm pretty sure it said... There's, there were two, definitely, yeah. yeah. Um... I presume there'll be a little icon for it. Yeah, on Io or Titan, it says. Oh. Maybe they alternate? Oh, uh, one of those. Maybe. I can't see it on Titan. 
I'm panning around. I cannot see it on Titan. I guess it could, yeah, it could be like the, um, they've sort of collapsed the three um, bunker uh, style events into... Uh... Yeah, I guess so. Oh yeah, well they've started this other one, this, this one here again. They are in different locations, I do like that. Okay. That, yeah, that's something, that's better. I'd better find you then. And find a pulse rifle. Ah, oh, it's nice to have some more cabal to kill on Io as well, because we need them so for, uh, may interpret the well, I need them for an old quest, I haven't done. Yeah, this bow isn't bad. Relatively hard hitting for a fast fire. Well. Yeah, it's all right, actually. Not at all. Ex not experiencing buyer's remorse. <laughs> but buyer's rem remorse? Uh. <laughs> yes, you're right to be pained by that, Steve. <laughs> Barrier Colossus bastard! People are actually reviving each other. Good lord. These cabals seem a bit easier, but that might just be because they haven't like, <laughs> leveled up yet. Yeah, I'm sure things will get uh, more stressful. No, I like this bow. Yeah, is that is that the thing? So where, is that where they steal the bloom from? Yeah. Maybe. When it, yeah, it seems when it's hovering, you have to kill something, and right. then you can pick it up. Who is my okay. limited I'm just understanding kill of it? For now. Yeah, that seems to be the if in doubt. Falling down a hole. Oh, unstoppable. That's what I need my pulse rifle for. So I need to do some very quick mod have... swapping. Good god. I've got Stop one, it. so I should be able to. That's fine. Cool. Again, like, barrier and overload, are, you need a bit more, but with unstoppable, you only really need one person with them. As long as they can stay on them, it's fine. Not a long amount of time to play these blockers. Especially not, with, 
just unstoppable. Nice. Ooh, looks like a guy over there has the blue. There was, yeah, there was at least one over here. Stunned him. Wish you could tag him. He can't tag him. Tag him, Destiny. Um... Uh, non champion Colossus. Oh, God, so many of them. Ooh. Making Maj dash set. Down. Yeah, down. <laughs> it is worth reviving people because it's not that far away you arrive, but it's better to not. Oh yeah, yeah. It's just a question of Oh god. Managing not to die in the process, which is uh, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> level three they definitely uh Yeah, they definitely get more fierce than Getting there though. We're already much better than we were last time. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, no, the bank's offline. Not good. Yeah, that's, I think it's this guy stealing. Yeah, but it is. God, come on. There we go. Take it, blocking my gear. Clear them out. You just uh, bank it as normal. Ah, uh, the bank's not up. He's <laughs> taking yeah, blockers, that's... might be the end of this. Ow. Shit. Oh well. It did not take them long to arrive once the undying mind was slain. They were close. Bearing witness. Okay, you don't get a terrible Long large amount of stuff from those chests. But, um... Yeah, well, I, mean, I, I guess it's to be expected. With... Yeah, I thought it sorted me for about 40% of that darkness contained. Oh, so, okay. Mm, not bad. Not bad. Uh, here we go, grenade launchers, void abilities. Okay. Lots of enemies in strikes with only rocket launcher. Well, that's why nothing has been working. <laughs> um, grenade launchers. That's also a grenade launcher. So that will do for that. And then, oh, heavy grenade launcher. That's fine. We still need more for a bank job. And then void abilities. Sure. Um, what am 
might it have spawned on? Yeah, I'm guessing that it just alternates between the two. Yeah, sure. Because the pinnacle challenge thing is only listed for um, Io at the moment on the map. So I'm guessing that means that maybe it alternates weekly or daily or something. Yeah, that seems possible. what the difference is between handing in like one moat and ten moats other than ten times the number of moats if you see what I mean. Or if there isn't any difference. So far I'm just seeing a straightforward count. Um, yeah, but I'm just wondering if there's any significance to having yeah. more. Like if there's any reason not to just cash them in every time you run past the bank. Currently, my feeling is that there is no benefit and you might as well just bank. But Yeah, well, yeah. that's my assumption, um, certainly, unless mm. I'm told otherwise. Then I'll... Uh, I mean, given how hard things get in stages three and four, I think it's kind of a. Uh, um, I'm just thinking, like, in terms of, like, gambits, basically, and, like, it would seem odd if there was no equivalence of that, that kind yeah. of advantage in saving mechanic, you know? What's that? Stuff all, uh, Overload. Well, at least the one by the bank is. Battens with Oh no, no. Okay. Guardian down. Yeah, I can't take out that overload. Which, no. 
Or I can, but I have to swallow. <laughs> Someone else must have an overload. Yeah, these hydras get very tanky at this point. Max Moats. I like that there's a little polite doorbell noise when you get to Max Moats. That is actually quite handy. They need to uh, sort that crap out for sure. Where are we? Over here? Over here. Yeah, you just had it going. Just go in there and use it. The pyramid reaches out. Contain it. Yeah, I automatically thought that the gl horrible globs that this grenade launcher leaves on the floor would be harmful to us as well. Ah, uh -huh. they're, they're not. Right. It is good though. I like it. If only it could break through barriers as well. When everyone's using it, it's also really fucking lethal. Because <laughs> the entire ground becomes like incredibly yeah. dangerous for them. Ammo's not scarce for it either. Area Colossus. Which I do not have. I'm just sticking this bloom in the bank, whatever it does, and then I can. Protect the contraption. Season rank two, yes.
down. I definitely prefer this to the Seraph Towers. By, by quite a long way, actually. I think it'll have a longer lifespan. In terms of... It's, it's more chaotic. It's... Yeah, uh, yeah. I kind of liked the, the process it's of the chaotic, Seraph Towers, but, but it did Yeah. behind you. Get rid of this barrier. Anyone carrying the bloom? Okay. I am. Oh, I thought I was. Clearly, that did not take. Does, does, does a bloom just count for a lot of moats? Or do you I'm hoping so. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> That's my assumption. Or is it just but, that yeah. when they steal it, like, you lose a lot of moats and then you just can't restore them? I, d I don't think it's terrible not to have the answer. Do they just... Yeah. You know, I'm sure over the course of the season... Um, oh, yeah, in like a week's time, I will you'll be like, Yeah, get the bloom, do this uh, with bloom. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. This is this is definitely a much more enjoyable horn activity. Yeah. The Seraph Towers, for sh absolute sure. Sorry to say, Steve, that death of mine was because you leapt in the way of my grenade. <laughs> Sorry. It's a bit busy. Yeah, it is. Whoa! I didn't think we were going to make that. Stop what I can do with you. Did 
This also feels like a horde mode that people who are higher rank or better than you can carry a bit more. Yeah, not probably. Multiple defensive points. Although, watch them introduce multiple defensive points. <laughs> oh, God. Ow. Yeah, the Colossus is. Uh... Oh, multiple of those grenade launchers <laughs> proper do the job. Like them. I like this. Still not my favourite seasonal weapon of the year. That's still definitely the uh, heir apparent, but... Yeah, that chain gun is, uh, if it points in your general direction. Oh, he's healing as well. At least if you, so, if you, yeah, this is probably common knowledge. Um, they stop healing as soon as you start shooting the barrier, it seems. Yeah. Uh, not enough time. Fun though. No quest step. Yeah, I Bring must have got out. Well done. that during that. Sabathun's hold loosens. You know what? I also, so weirdly like, like that it moves. Which means you don't just finish and then someone immediately starts yes. and you feel yeah, yeah, yeah. you have to participate. Yeah. I weirdly do like that. Um, collect umbral traces by participating in nightfall, nightmare hunts, and crucible control. Okay. Okay. So you basically have like a series of resources you have to get which have different activities to participate in. Okay. That's alright. So far I'm, li I'm definitely liking this season. <laughs> more than the last one. Yes. Because the last one felt like just a bit of a circular thing that just fed into itself. Um, and while I actually appreciated the legendary lost sectors for what they were, I also felt there was an element to them of, you know... Like, it, for a start, it was annoying that they were more or less uh, compulsory to play in a group, uh, unless you were really good or advanced really fast. And I... Like, I didn't like the champion, champions need prescribed weapons, but, like, A, that's not a problem with that with the seasons. That's just a problem with how yeah. they've done this. Um, and also, B, it's a problem that minimizes the more people are in an activity. Because someone's bound to have, you know, when you've got, like, eight guardians jumping around like that, someone's bound to have an overload weapon. So, you, you feel less like you have to have, yeah. you know, every one of every type. Which often isn't even that possible, because I, not many of them are on heavy weapons, and yeah. Um, so, you know, and I, that activity is definitely better than the Seraph Towers. I could see myself enjoying it. It's, it's enjoyable chaos. Yeah, yeah. Which the other one wasn't. Unlike someone here called Muckin Fuppet. Um, <laughs> like, I could see people argue that it's a bit more dumbed down because you don't have to do other stuff. But when do other stuff in this game increasingly means throw orbs at things. You know? Like, 
and that's not actually that much fun. And so I think I think I'd the thing that bugged me. Moats in. Yeah. Um, it was it was a way that um, the plates would get blocked, and you just yeah. there was no necessarily no no way of preventing it. It just because they'd spawn really nearby, and and you'd get yeah, swamped. and there were like three to protect. And yeah, that's what I mean about like the um, you know the element. This there's just one point protect to to kind of I guess there's the blooms and stuff, but like they're all spawning in one area. Just run around the area and fucking kill things. Much more enjoyable, for for what it's worth. And well, there's and there's more of a, an arc to the uh, you know it gets more difficult in the actual yes event exactly in and, each one. Um, yeah, like I yeah so 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 far, so far so good. Well, so you know so all right. <laughs> like I'm interested to <laughs> yeah. see what they do with the rest of the season. Um, there's a new dungeon, isn't there? But I presume there is. we need to progress further through. Before we get that, or maybe it's not actually dropped yet. Um, is it called Prophecy? It is, think, and it yeah. looks pretty interesting. Um, it reminds me of Control, actually. There's um, another game on uh, on the Epic Store. Interesting visuals, really quite. Oh right, uh, yeah. Quite I mean, fun. I did like that, and they did. I did see people going, "Oh wow, this is crazy, cool looking new thing," and I just did think it just looks like Resonance, but <laughs> like because it's got that weird, you know. Geometry, big floating shapes thing going on and whatever. Mm, yeah. Um, yeah. All right. Well, my grump, my grump over the uh, <laughs> the fact that I'm having half this game stripped off me is definitely, at least partly mitigated. It's not mitigated really, but like, <laughs> at, at least I I feel like I'll have maybe more fun with this season than I did with the last one. Which is lucky because you know it's the last season before I get half the game stripped off me, as far as I'm aware. Um, so you know, at least there's that. Mm. Um, yeah, there we go. All right, we'll probably wrap up the the stream there. I think, guys. Yeah, it was close, Justin. It was quite close. Um, we'll wrap up the stream there, guys. Um, let us know if you want to see more Destiny streams this season. Uh, there wasn't a huge response to the, the ones last season, so I don't know if I'll do much um, of that, you know, in as far as there's any response to my streams at all. <laughs> um, <laughs> it did hammer home to me a bit that... Um, so, it, rambling. What, what, you know, what, what else? It's all rambling, isn't it? You love my rambles, don't you? Yeah? Um, it really hammered home to me the re <laughs> the sort of audience the YouTube channel has, and I knew this anyway that we had more kind of board game fans than um, <coughs> than kind of video game fans. Even though the 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 channel started with video games rather than board games, but um, I put up the first fresh uh, board game video that we've had in we've had some like long form uh, Pandemic Legacy playthrough stuff. Uh, like our kind of campaign in that going it's very sporadically but still going over the last couple of years but since we last put up a a uh, you know a proper fresh board game playthrough video it's been probably j j around two years which is you know terrible but a long time um, it was instantly <laughs> the most popular video on the channel I'd released in probably two years <laughs> Like, wow. so quickly that it was just, you know, we're not a big YouTube channel. Uh, we don't get many views. You know, a lot of the time, sometimes they don't even hit double figures. Whatever, man. We, we keep plugging at it. But, like, this one, within, like, three hours, was at 50 and just kept going. <laughs> it was nice, like, okay, nice. yeah. You guys want to watch board game videos. You've, huh? you've got to find your niche. You've got to find. <laughs> yeah, your... I think that is our niche, and I'm not sad about that. I, you know, I'm most proud of that stuff. I think it's yeah. just obviously they're di that's difficult to make right now. Obviously, yeah. <laughs> um, hmm. Other than two player stuff because I live with John, but like um, I've just been jumping around. I haven't even come over to help you guys, um, but like. Yeah, it's a, I mean, even without that aspect of things, the pandemic and everything, it's um, it's been difficult because we uh, 
a lot of the people who used to make those videos with don't live in York anymore. An offering to so, a you know. And I've been around a long time. So, How are you getting on yeah. with uh, Tabletop Simulator? Really enjoying it. Really enjoying what I've played with it so far. Uh, yeah, big, big fan of it so far. <clears throat> and that is absolutely... <laughs> yeah, you have... You have definitely predicted where <laughs> where we're. I'm thinking of going with that. Because um, I'm sure a load of people will be. Uh, yeah, um, you know oh, that'll be of interest to. Uh, yeah, to absolutely. Many. To like the people who who we kind of vague sometimes play stuff with now, like like yourself and your, uh, but also people online. Yeah, definitely looking to uh, make much more of a thing of that um, and do some do some tabletop simulator stuff. Definitely. Thinking of um, kind of, I was kind of thinking honestly of switching a lot of the streaming to that as well, um, because like I say, people don't really want to watch me play video games all that much. I don't think that's not that's honestly not a bitter thing. I, I just think you know from experience, it's such an overcrowded market. Uh, it's so difficult to get people to watch you to play video games, and like in many ways, I haven't got a personality particularly conducive with how people like to watch video games get played a lot of the time, you know? Like, I do my, my mock YouTuber voice and stuff, but they got the last laugh because they're the one earning money from this, you know? <laughs> like, <laughs> so, but for some reason, people people seem to like us playing video games. Um, whether it's that our, our personalities are more of a match for that, or that there's less competition, or I don't know what it is, but it's... Um, it definitely seems to be that way, so we'll have a think. And hey, if you've got some feedback for us, I know like not many people are watching this stream, but hey, some people will watch it on the channel. If you've got any feedback about that, if you say, yeah, I watched this two-hour video of you playing Destiny and I hated every minute, but um, <laughs> your board game videos make me so aroused it's physically difficult for me to watch them in public, then, you know, that's great. Let us, let us know that. Let us, give, us, give us all this feedback. I can. Um, I know Justin is watching this, and I can. I can literally hear him going, "Oh my god!" Every time I say something like that. So, um, you know what? I said we we're going to finish it up. We literally might as well finish off this. This what's it called? Contact. It is. Yes. Yeah. We literally, might as well finish this off before we uh, before we crack. We're fun. Yeah, we are fun. Oh, we're big old. I'm fun. <laughs> I can't imagine anyone ever referring to me as fun. Um, but yeah, I think you know. At, at least part of it is the fact that we know we definitely know what we're doing with board games. Like, I think I'm pretty pretty au fait with video games as well. But um, we're pretty experienced. Ultimately, what we did for about two or three years was we uh, played a different video game almost every week on the channel. Uh, sorry, a different board game almost every week on the channel. That's, that's, that's difficult, let me tell you. That's like, that's challenging shit to do. Um, the number of, of board games that got bought, <laughs> uh, the number of rules that got learnt, you know, it's, uh, it, was, it was genuinely difficult to do. Um, and I'm quite proud that we did that actually. Um, and we can't do that anymore because of uh, the friends not being here and, and right now because of the pandemic as well. But um, maybe, yeah, maybe we could sort some stuff with Tabletop Simulator and at least up the rate of, uh, of board game videos that we, we do make and that we can make. Yeah. And on that wonderful positive sounding note, <laughs> after the, the pure salt earlier. Of, um, it was quite salty. It was quite salty, but I, I think it's kind of justified salt. Oh, yeah. Um, I think a lot of people... Like, I've seen, you know, a lot of people won't agree with me on it. And a lot of people will be like, yeah, I agree, but it's not that big a deal or whatever. But it, yeah, it, it definitely is... It feels not personal causey to me, because that'd be weird. It's only a video game. But um, it definitely... It definitely... Yeah, I don't like it. I think it's... Um, kind of underhanded business practice. And I don't, I don't appreciate the way it's been done. So you know, but enough of that. Thanks for watching, folks. <laughs> We've got a couple more, um, couple more streams later on in the week. Hopefully on Thursday, uh, me and Alex will be doing more Warhammer, 
more of the Warhammer 2 stuff. Um, that'll be on on the yub, the yub tubs on the YouTubes, uh, and then on Saturday I should be playing more Kimura Squad, uh, which people did seem to be enjoying, but not so many people on the last stream. So let me know if you enjoyed that and want it to continue or, or what have you. Yeah, and then other stuff next week. Maybe some Destiny, maybe not. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, as I watch Muckin Fuppet and Five Head go running to this, and Silly Joey, and Azimuth as well. Go running to the to the new contact there. But that's enough of that. Thanks for watching, folks. Uh, we'll catch you soon. Check out the channel on YouTube at ATCB Gaming. Take care of yourselves out there. Stay safe. Bye-bye.